art is really a constant series of decisions. Mm -hmm. Constant. I mean, problem solving, problem, uh, you know, addressing the initial problem, then problem solving, and then making mistakes, and then solving mm -hmm. that problem, and mm -hmm. having breakthroughs that, that because you didn't have something that you thought you needed and you used something else and something brilliant happens or a mistake happens and it, it actually works and it changes everything from that point on. But it's definitely a lifelong journey. I don't think that if you're really honest with yourself, you can ever say that you've hit the point of mm. absolute. Mm. You get comfortable and you hit your stride, but I mean, if you're really, mm. I think if you're really, if you're really, a true artist, you realize that you will never be done, mm. <laughs> ever. Mm. And you just hope there's some paintings you're not, you're going to be really willing to be proud of at some mm. point that come out of the whole thing. But in my own work, yeah. and a lot of my work before had been all about mm. that. It had been, it had been very much self-exploring in a kind of dark way, and you know, and that's pretty much everything's really become sort of language for the changes that happened to me over the last five years has really been starting to show up in, in my work about how there really is nothing random and it is all part of this unbelievably huge battle for your soul and for your outlook and for your happiness. I mean, it's pretty interesting see how, what symbols come about as a result of mm -hmm. thinking about that all the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's all, it really is all problem solving. I, I'm, I'm aware yeah. more often than ever how much time I spend at stoplights thinking about <laughs> Do you know, I mean, just really trying to grapple with some practical problem on a painting. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just not happening. What, what could I do? What could I come up with? Could I mm -hmm. maybe take an old piece and tear it up and use part of it? And I mean, you just don't you just, you find yourself thinking it, and when I'm really working, I'll tell you one of the most fascinating things about it for me, and it always has been like this since college, when I'm really, really working and I'm actually at the top of my ability to absorb and output work, every time I close my eyes I see a new painting, which is cool and frustrating. There's no way to get it down on paper. There's no way to save it. If it's really something that's exciting, I'll try to write it down, you know, on scraps of paper, <laughs> and it's very interesting how it just ha only happens ever when you're really working, mm -hmm. like, what you imagine artists get to all the time, which of course they don't, you have to yeah. pay taxes and you have to go to the dentist. And you